Thank you all for joining us this afternoon. My name is Yolanda Kokai. I am the Senior Director of Corporate Communications for Mueller Water Products. We own Henry Pratt here in Aurora, Illinois. In just a moment, our CEO, Scott Hall of Mueller Water Products, will be making a brief statement about yesterday's tragic incident. We have also set aside time to answer a handful of questions. Also joining us today is Steve Jones, directing business representative for IAM District 8. While we will make every effort to answer questions, because we are continuing to work closely with the Aurora Police Department as part of their ongoing investigation, we will not be able to answer specific questions about ongoing police matters. Following this conference and throughout the weekend, Scott will be make, meeting with the victims and their families and other members of the community. I'll now turn the podium over to Scott. Thank you, Yolanda. Um, so Friday was basically the worst day our company has ever had. Um, tremendous uh, emotional event at not just our one facility here in Aurora, but reverberating through our entire manufacturing footprint. We are hurting right now. Um, the families of Ross, Clay, Josh, Vicenta, and Trevor are also grieving right now. And we still have one colleague in the hospital. I understand he will be um, um, let go hopefully in the next few hours. So that will be good news. And we are thinking of him and his family along with the families of the victims. In Aurora and at all of our locations, uh, we are offering counseling and other employee assistance programs. Um, in the days and weeks ahead, we will be reviewing every aspect of this tragedy and the steps we need to ensure this horrible incident is never repeated. And we're assessing if there's anything we could have done or could do in the future. I would also like to say I'm very thankful to the first responders uh, from the city of Aurora who showed tremendous bravery um, in a very harrowing situation um, in four minutes after the first shot was fired um, at our facility. And I also like to wish them a speedy recovery from their injuries and wounds. Um, I recognize that there are a lot of questions um, at this time about the gunman and his background. Uh, we can confirm that the individual was being terminated on Friday for a culmination of various workplace rules violations in accordance with our agreement. I can also confirm that we conducted a background check uh, when the employer, employee was hired 15 years ago, which did not surface his prior felony conviction in Mississippi. Just like the local authorities, we are still in the process of learning more about his history and background. But that's not where our focus is right now. Um, while I understand there's a tremendous amount of interest in his background, our focus is on the men and women that are our employees and on the families of the victims. Um, we are trying to do everything we can to assist them and help them with their grief at this terrible time. Again, we understand that there are many questions that are unanswered at this time. Um, we're going to focus on the families, and I'm going to open it here in a moment um, to discuss, but I, I want to you know, try and, if we can, focus as much as we can on the next 48 hours or so, because that's how we have constructed our response teams. Um, before I head out to meet, meet with family members who I'm, I have set up after this meeting, I'd like to open the floor for some questions. So um, go ahead. Can you go into examples of these violations that he's being terminated? No, I, I really, uh, I've, I've looked at some of the write-ups, but I haven't got enough accurate information. I would not be comfortable at this point um, trying to characterize them all. I think that um, as we go through it, more importantly, we'll share that with the police um, because I think they, they still need to get to motive. That's, that's, they're better prepared to do that than us, I think. Did he show up for work that morning? Did he work a little bit and then get called into the office? I mean, what was his 
that is the timeline as I understand it, yes, that so he, was uh, he was working, yeah, yeah. Was and he prior to, I, I have no knowledge of that. Were uh, uh, Byers and Juarez in the meeting room? I'm going to, you know, as it relates to the crime scene, I can tell you um, who would normally be involved in the, in the dismissal procedure, Byers would be, um, but um, as to who else was where they were in the facility while the shooting took place, I can't comment on that. I think the police would have a better idea. Do you allow guns in the facility? The uh, we have security cameras for the outside of the building. We do not have security cameras on the inside of the building. Do you allow guns in the facility? We do not. Sir, is there a security procedure when you go in the door, like a metal detector? Or there is not. No, we operate um, seven plants. Um, I, I think the, uh, the answer to that question is that we will look over the next days and weeks at, you know, what we could have done differently. And I'm sure in a tragedy like this, we will find many things that we, were, were shortcomings. But I'd like to reiterate that, that really what's more important is the four individuals, five individuals, sorry, who, who lost their lives that day. Um, and, and when we do a full accounting of the, uh, what we could have done um, different or should have done different, um, we'll have a, uh, a more complete picture at that time. But I'm not going to get into saying, well, does this make sense or does that make sense? I think we're at a, at a point where um, manufacturing environments are, are places we want people to want to come to work. Sir, we want that. Yeah, once again, I think you're getting into the, the, the motive aspect of this and in the timeline, and I'd like to leave the, uh, the police with, with that to put together, um, if I may. I, I, I haven't reviewed that. Are you going to reopen Monday? Um, we, we will have all of our employees, you know, starting tomorrow at 1 o'clock, we'll, um, we'll have counselors on site. We'll begin our supervisory training tomorrow afternoon. All employees will be welcome back. Um, with or with pay um, Monday, whether we produce anything Monday or not, it's highly unlikely we'll produce anything. And then um, we'll work with Steve and his, his grief team and, and our counselors, and we'll, we'll come up with a, a go live uh, program over the next several days um, to get the facility back. Well, you have read over some of the briefings of the workplace violations. Did you see any indications that he could be violent? I did not. That's a really tough question. Uh, I don't think we had thought about that ever. We've had interns for. I think, once again, the timeline, I, I can tell you what I, I know. 124 was the first shot. Uh, 128 was the four originating officers that came in. Um, he was still active when then. So he, you know, no. When is the, the typical day shift time? 7 to 3. Okay. Yes. That is something that we're investigating from those comments uh, as we speak, that uh, um, we're aware of the, uh, the comment and uh, we're, we're doing our best to uh, investigate what the series of events were. Was he on any kind of uh, like supervision or, or warning protocol? We have a progressive discipline process. And so in order to be at the final step, he would have been through previous steps. Isn't it? 
we have employee assistance programs. Steve has employee assistance programs. You can either access counseling through the company program or, or through the union program. All employees have, have that ability. Sir, how many people were in the building at the time? In the building in question, we believe there were nine people. Just nine total people? Yeah, it was the, uh, was the, uh, wasn't the main assembly facility. It was the warehouse across the street. The Archer facility is um, smaller. Can you speak to just the general type of, of violation that, that was? No, I, re I really can't. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask the uh, police to um, say that they think that that's part of what they need to understand how this built up. They want to get to motive. We're, we're, we're not going to comment on, on the nature of the um, progressive discipline process. But are we talking about being late or are we talking about potentially violent things? You've asked the question about violence. I, I tried to answer it. I'm sorry. Is there any goodness in the area? Is it only men that were shot and only men that were killed? Was there any goodness? You said there were nine people. Uh, not to my knowledge. Has the company conducted an active shooter drill recently? I, I would like to say at this time that the, uh, the team did implement their training. Um, the um, Immediately upon hearing the gunshots, I've been told that the uh, Highland facility uh, disabled all uh, card readers except for those that were, were known card readers. They went into their lockdown in position. Uh, they remained there um, at the police's direction um, for, for quite some time. Um, I think that the, um, the procedures were followed um, that, that we had put in place. Um, lockdown in place, but only at the one facility. The Last question, please. Thank you. Does the company have a protocol for when you dismiss somebody as far as security concerns of somebody acting out? Is there something in place that for the HR person to be aware of that you, whoever it might be might act out when you're fired? I'm not sure how to answer that. I am. Um, I can say that if we have reason to believe somebody is going to be violent, we, we take precautions. Um, I, I can only assume that, that we did not. Can you describe the type of work that Mr. Martin did? That was the final question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for your questions. As we mentioned earlier, our focus right now is on supporting our Mueller community. Scott is headed out to continue to meet with the families of the victims and our colleagues. Also, for your awareness, um, we've posted a letter on our website um, that Scott has sent out to our employees, and there are hard copies available um, throughout the room. Thank you again. Thank you.